First of all, Sadio, thank you so much for joining us here on Astro Super Sport. It's really nice to meet you. I'm just going to start very quickly here as well. I understand it's quite a difficult time for everyone at the club right now, particularly domestically. And when things get rough and when things get too stressful, what do you do to look for a bit of peace? Perhaps talk to us about your active involvement in the local community mosque in Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I think it's a really, really tough time for, for everyone in, in this world. And, uh, well, time fly, you can see it. And uh, years ago, I don't know, one and a half years ago, if people will tell you about this, it won't happen, but uh, it's happened. So in this life, you never know what's going to happen in the future. So as soon as you're there, you have to enjoy it as much as you can. And for sure, yeah, I'm always home because I have to stay safe like everyone else and to maybe call a family and people to to get stress out. And for sure, I also, I'm someone who is always Friday because I don't have time much to, to always go to mosque, but uh, Friday usually I always have the, the time and some, day, some of the other days. But right now it's not the case, which is completely um, not normal, but uh, yeah, we, we, I'm keeping touch with my friend in the mosque, especially the Imam. He's one of my very, very good friends. And uh, as soon as possible, we always see each other. And uh, as they close everything, all the mosque, so we just have to stay home and pray home. And yeah. Hopefully, things do get better for everyone very soon. I do want to jump on the conversation that everyone have compared Monaco's new signing in Crepin Dieta to you. They call him the Sadio Mane 2.0. Obviously, you play with him in the national team, but how good is he in your eyes? And do you think perhaps he has what it takes to maybe play in the Premier League one day just like you? Crepin. <laughs> yeah, first of all, I want to say, yeah, for sure, he's a great, great lad. And uh, it's like my small brother because... Sometimes I took uh, my phone and he, sometimes he called me as well to ask advice and I try to give as much as I can help him. And uh, on the pitch as well and out of the pitch, and which is normal for everyone to, to do this kind of uh, help for your younger brothers who are doing the same job like you. And uh, it's one of the best, best, best young players I'm playing. For I'm, I'm ever playing, and um, and sure, in few years, and he will come to Premier League because it's his dream and he's working for, and uh, I really really wish for him and um, he's great great lad and as a footballer is top 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 so hopefully we'll see him Premier League soon. What do you think of the name Sadio Mane 2.0 though? <laughs> and I'm always proud to. <laughs> to comfort to the young and for sure I'm really really and I hope fully for him I, I, I hope and I hope for sure I will help him and I think uh, if he work has if he work harder and uh, stay humble like he is now for sure I think he can do better than I so for sure I wish I wish this for for him and uh, for sure it's, uh, it's it's gonna be a great 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 player well, you're a great player yourself and you are for a very long time regarded as one of the best footballers in the world. But how did your beginning start like? I mean, how did your love for football start? Because I understand your family perhaps is not or was not the most supportive of that ambition. Yeah, sure. Like I always said, my, my beginning was really, really tough because uh, if you want to be a football player, so in the same time, you have no one who can help you or who is trying to help you. I think uh, not only football, but anything you want to do and it happened like that, I think it's really, really complicated, which it was my case. My family, no one knows football and knew football, so no one has been or is been, is been involved in football. So that's why for, for them it was a waste of time. And uh, myself, I always see myself as a football player one day, but uh, my question always how it can be possible because 
uh, no one is supporting me to, to become a football player. So in this case, you can imagine how difficult it should be in on me. But uh, yes, I always said, the dream is allowed to anyone. And if you give everything possible for your dream, I think uh, you you can and you will be successful one day. How true is it that you actually travel to France without the knowledge of your mom? Yeah, because I remember when I left the village, first of all, because I, I escaped and I ran away and they took, I go to Dakar, and which is capital of Senegal. And uh, my family tried to find me and they brought me back on the village. And um, when I am 17, 16, 17, I was 17, I can say, I said, well, now I think it's the right time. I won't do anything. I won't study. I want you to do everything possible to help me. But my mom is out of my mom because she don't know nothing about football. She doesn't care about the NC for her. I'm just trying to waste my time because never, I want success, success because how? And uh, you can see how far my village was really tiny to become a football player and uh, not easy. So I had people, my uncle and some people which helped me to, to came to Dakar because it was the only solution they had to do because I said no, nothing to everything. And uh, I was there for for, for to test, like try to took me from the academy and it was not easy. But my mom now, he just called me, how are you, everything good, just finished. But she doesn't even ask me about football, everything until I, 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 I got what I want. And, I, and then I go to, I have to, I, I was supposed to go to France. I didn't tell nothing to anyone, only my, mom, my, my uncle. And when I, 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 I arrived in France, I called my mom. She could not believe what, which France I say in Europe. And she could not believe it until, until, <laughs> until, <laughs> until I signed my professional contract, and then yeah, I trying to do things for her. Now she she realized that the, she realized that the impossible became possible. I guess it's like surprise, mom! I got my contract. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think um, I do have time for two more questions, so I'm just gonna go with. Obviously, you're at Liverpool now, but you reportedly had offers from other clubs during your time at Southampton. What convinced you to pick Anfield? Was it a conversation with Jurgen Klopp or was it because you, you saw something in that project? Yeah, sure, because uh, I have few contacts, which is, was really, really, I was really close to, to go there. And um, yeah, well... And uh, in, in these days, I got a call from, uh, from, from my agent. He told me that uh, he has spoke to the club, which is want to talk to me. I say, well, again, he wants to talk to me again for what? <laughs> because I had already conversation when I was in Salzburg, in Red Bull Salzburg. Salzburg. He wanted me in Dortmund, but uh, it could not happen. And then he, he called me. My agent told me that club wants to talk to you. I said, well, call, no problem. He can call me. And when he called me, I spoke with him and um, I know a bit in TV. I knew him from TV and then I met him one time and then we spoke and such a great man, great, great, great man. And uh, then when he called me, I didn't think twice. And um, I just believe in his project and what you want to do and when you want to do for, for, for Liverpool Football Club, I don't take it twice and just say, yeah. Almost, I almost go into some clubs, <laughs> some enemy club, but <laughs> now I stop everything. I come to Liverpool because I think uh, my Sam was the right time and the right club and the right manager. And then the choice was very, very easy for me. Well, obviously, no regrets then since making that decision. Just very finally, Sadio, the front three of you yourself, uh, Firmino and Salah as well, are one of the key cogs in Liverpool's game. And how do you improve in the, on that? Because considering over time, defenders, oppositions are gaining more and more understanding on how to deal with your attacking threat. Yeah, sure. I think um, we've been together 
since years and uh, we're training together since years and playing games so I think um, even more that I think playing alongside of these great players is always easier so well I think now we understand more each other we trying to help more each other in the game to score more goals and more assists for for the club which is really important because you have to win games in the uh, for sure people talking about our trip which is sometimes too much i can say because the work from came from ali in the beginning until the midfield and they make everything easier for us so we just finish i think uh, and then all the credits for us which is not normal sometimes <laughs> but it's part of football and um yeah we're really happy about it and uh, for sure we are in liverpool and we're happy here we will do everything possible every single game and fight for this club and uh, for the supporters with with more defenders knowing how to deal with the attacking track like you guys how do you improve on that sure we are here for years and uh, we are successing winning things and people are watching us for sure which is normal and try to make themselves ready for us and uh, you know how it become more and more and more difficult for for us but uh, like we said now i just said now football is always learning and work, working harder every single day to to try to to make them more difficult also and to make liverpool football club successful all right brilliant stuff thank you so much sadia for joining us